Hey, it's me. Look, I haven't made one of these videos in quite a, of a long time. And I got some stuff I need to talk about. First thing, let's talk about President Trump. He's racist. Ever heard of it? This dude just really gets me going. Uh, can somebody say asshole? <laughs> Racist much? Yeah, that's right. I don't like him. I pretty much think every decision that he's ever made is stupid and the worst thing ever. If you voted for Trump, swipe left on me. That's all I have to say. Uh... Yeah, I don't really like him. I don't really like this, uh, this Roseanne, uh, whore, pardon my language, but, man, I'm just getting mad being racist. Uh, ma'am, you're a comedian. You're supposed to make us laugh, not piss us off. It's stupid. If your job's to make people laugh, then tell funny jokes. Jokes that everyone can laugh at. Why don't you be a little more inclusive, huh? Amy Schumer. You want to talk about comedy? She appeals to everyone, and that's what makes her so damn good. And I'm sorry to use this harsh language, okay? I, I normally don't like to bring that to my channel here. This is, you know, I try to keep this a family-friendly place. Whew, but man, it just gets me so heated when I see comedians out there being offensive okay look at all the great comedians in the past you've got uh you know th there are the people that history will forget but there are the pe the comedians that history is going to remember and that's people like uh you know classics eddie murphy george carlin uh freaking the other guys you know the ones you know, Seinfeld. Uh, uh, whatever. Anyways, they... Look, you're not going to get anywhere by uh, hurting people's feelings, okay? So if you're a comedian, that's that. And don't be best friends with, the evil, with our racist president. And if you vote for him, don't talk to me. And I'm serious. Um... So there's that, okay? White people, if you go to a rap show, don't say the N-word. That's bad. Sheesh. Your great, 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 great grandparents had slaves. You have no right, okay? You have to carry that for the rest of your life, which means you don't get to say stuff like that. You don't get to. What else has really been making me mad? There's so much. It's just all bottled up. And I know you can tell I'm normally not this animated. Okay? But now, I'm pretty pissed off. Another thing that made me mad was, uh... Let me see here. Starbucks. Racist. Terrible. Sick of them uh, kicking out black people all the time. More like it's time to stop. Sorry, I'm just going through uh, Facebook to see what made me mad the past month. Bear with me here. I'm trying to remember what made me so mad all the time. You know what I didn't think was dumb? One thing I thought was pretty cool was uh, this kid's drag convention, you know, where boys, little boys dressed up in dresses and stuff, wore makeup, high heels and skirts. I don't have a problem with it. It's good for them. Builds testosterone. 
makes them stronger in their masculinity ultimately. Okay? So if you have a problem with it, you're a freaking bigot. Oh yeah, the little black boy wearing the jungle monkey shirt. What was that, Target or TJ Maxx or something? Racist. That was intentional. Don't do it. We get it. It's a system run by white people, and black people are oppressed by every day. Don't do that. You're evil if you do that. Whatever. This is all so stupid. Anyways, the good thing is that I like to be angry, okay? Gives me a sense of community with all the other people that are all angry with me, okay? And there's so many things to be angry about. There's about there's like one or two every week. So it's good because it always gives me something to do, something to live for. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is I I love the fact that I get so up in arms about everything, right? Because otherwise, I'd have too much free time, and I wouldn't, you know, I'd have to pick up a hobby or something. But this, you know, maybe uh, follow my passion, what I really want to do with my life. But I don't really care about that anymore, because now I just love that I have something to be mad about all the time, every week. So... Hmm. <laughs>